on this problem, it, uh, <clears throat> it asks us to find the domain and range of the graph. So what we do is, remember guys, the domain and range, what we're looking for a domain range is the set of all your x values is your domain, and your set of all your y values is going to be your range. So, or at least that are defined for your function. So here we have a, um, a continuous a, a graph that we need to look at and see, all right, for what values is our, for what values is x defined? And you could say, well, only the only values that I see defined for x are between negative 4 and 4. Anything outside of there, there's, there's no graph, so there's no, x is not defined. So therefore, I'm going to write my domain is going to be negative 4 to 4. Now, I use these closed brackets because at negative 4 and 4, those are included inside your domain. You also could write um, negative 4 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 4. That's another way you guys could write to your domain. Then we'll look at the range. Now my range, if you see, for what values is my range defined? So what values for y um, is it defined in the graph? Well, if you look, there's no negative um, values for my y, right? Nothing in the graph is negative for y. So it goes from 0 up to 4. Anything past 4, no y value is defined. So my range is going to be from 0 to 4. Or you could also say 0 is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 4. All right. Make sure when you're dealing with domain, you're dealing with the x. When you're dealing with range, you're dealing with the y. So when you're looking at domain and range of a graph, just look for what values is your graph, uh, is your graph defined for um, each, either coordinate your x or your y, depending on what you're finding.